um, it was not some problematic shit three years ago because that problematic shit has continued to present day. Just this last Christmas, I'm pretty sure it was this last Christmas, she tweeted out some shit like a Mary Turfmas, which trans exclusionary radical feminists that is what that stands for meaning you're a feminist for everybody except trans people uh, which doesn't make sense because if you're a feminist you just want equity and equality for everyone everyone if you're a human a feminist wants you to have rights and if that is not how you see the world that's why we call you turfs not feminists um she is tweeting turf stuff on the daily okay i'm asking my editor to pull some stuff here so we can show some of these things that I'm talking about. But you can go look. You can look at her Twitter. It is there for you. <sighs> okay, we're going to talk about it. Okay, hi. Welcome. <laughs> my name is Mac. If you're new to Embodying Mystical Mac, thank you so much for joining. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. Today we have kind of a heavy topic video. I kind of expect that this video might be demonetized because of the nature of the topic, um, even though that's not really what I'm going to be focusing on. But anyway, I just thank you so much for clicking on. Um, I know there's been a lot of buzz around this. And to be honest, I'm not even going to be actually talking about the boycott itself, aside from giving context um, and maybe debunking a couple of things to have correct context. But really, much like my The Great Gaylor War video, this is more about people's behavior around this and how to be good humans regardless of what choice you make regarding this game okay so first of all i i just want to say if you don't know about this uh good for you you're probably not a gamer you probably don't care about harry potter um which like either way if you don't know about this let me give you a little bit of background so there's this game coming out called uh hogwarts legacy and it's essentially this like open world game where you get to be a student in hogwarts like i don't know decades or something before the story of harry potter takes place and there's been a lot of trans allies and trans people essentially urging people to boycott this game um and I guess this is where we just dive right into the context. Um, so, there's essentially been a lot of trans people and trans allies uh, urging people to boycott this game. There have been people on that side of the argument that are also misbehaving, and I'll get into that um, because let's remind ourselves, and I'm going to continuously, remi continuously remind you of this. The point here is not boycott or don't boycott the game. The point here is be a decent human regardless of what you choose, okay? So, so people are urging people to boycott this game, um, and then there are people on the other side of the debate basically antagonizing them for wanting to enact change in this way so let's just like lay down the stuff okay Let, let's lay it all down i'm gonna give you context um essentially let's just dive into my notes actually <laughs> my notes will give you context so the reason why trans people and trans allies are telling people urging people um, some in better ways than others to boycott this game is because Joanne Rowling has become one of the most horrifically antagonistic players in the oppression of transgender people in the UK. And because of the platform she's gained with Harry Potter, her influence kind of goes very far and wide. And even when she is not directly involved like hands-on in a project her creative ideas are being expressed anything with wizarding world or harry potter on the name she gets royalties to that so she gets money with for anything that sells with those things attached to them and unfortunately the way she's using that money, not just the influence she has from her platform through Harry Potter, but the way that she's using that money, she's actively putting that money towards harmful and oppressive actions and policies 
towards transgender people in the UK. So let's just, for those of you that weren't aware, um, because there are a lot of people who are not aware the extent of her involvement in this really awful nonsense. Um, but essentially she's one of the heads of the trans oppression movement in the UK. I'm gonna attempt to use some like algorithm friendly language just in case we have a chance of getting monetized in this. But um, so if I'm not using certain words, that's why. Um, so I'm just using things to convey the same sort of thing, right? So she's clearly got a phobia <laughs> um, and she is literally one of the heads of the trans oppression movement in the UK. Um, she, it, a lot of people that are trying to create, that are trying to essentially invalidate the people that are urging others to potentially boycott this game um, they're saying things like, oh, why are you guys mad? She tweeted some problematic shit three years ago. Those people are misinformed. Um, it was not some problematic shit three years ago because that problematic shit has continued to present day. Just this last Christmas, I'm pretty sure it was this last Christmas, she tweeted out some shit like a Mary Turfmas, which trans exclusionary radical feminists that is what that stands for meaning you're a feminist for everybody except trans people uh which doesn't make sense because if you're a feminist you just want equity and equality for everyone everyone if you're a human a feminist wants you to have rights and if that is not how you see the world that's why we call you turfs not feminists um she is tweeting turf stuff on the daily okay i'm asking my editor to pull some stuff here so we can show some of these things that I'm talking about. But you can go look. You can look at her Twitter. It is there for you. Um, she's, like I said, using her money to actively harm people by supporting awful policies and ideologies with her money um, and trying to enact just really harmful and oppressive actions towards this already incredibly harmed, already incredibly oppressed, marginalized community. Probably the most harmed and oppressed and marginalized community at this point in time in our history at this point in time right now okay okay <laughs> um so no it, it's not it's not just oh she has some problematic views a few years ago in fact what's kind of crazy and i just now had my come to jesus moment her problematic ideologies and misogyny and everything is just riddled they're riddled throughout Harry Potter, the series. I mean, just the fact that Hermione can't have a kind bone in her body towards other women is kind of insane to me. Or, like, she kind of can, but then she, like, turns around and says some, like, really shady shit that you're just like, girl, your internalized misogyny is showing. <laughs> so, even through Harry Potter, I... I dare say there were a lot of people saying like hey guys this isn't really that good it's not really that good um and while i can say that i was connected to it for a long time i deeply connected to certain aspects of harry potter i've really come to see for myself how i don't want to support her or anything she does because any of my support is going to whether I want to or not, be siphoned towards these oppressive ideologies and policies and things that she's pushing not only with her voice, but with her capital. Um, by the way, when I talk about where I stand here, this is not me telling you what to do. Please, 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 please know. This is not me telling you to boycott or not do are you gonna know where i stand yeah of course totally this is my channel i'm gonna tell you where i stand um but i just i'm laying down this context for you so we can talk about the real issue that i had here and it is how humans are behaving towards each other okay now the next point that i want to make um to give you context a lot of people that um so essentially you've got this side who's like hey guys please boycott she's doing really harmful things please don't support her um this game 
whether we want to believe it or not is supporting her like please don't so the opposite side is um there are some arguments they were saying that well you're just hurting the developers and the people that are working on this game if you don't support it no <laughs> i'm gonna have my editor put a screenshot up here i literally screenshotted a comment on youtube from a software developer that details what i'm about to say here which is people who made the game have already been paid their livelihoods don't suffer it would be absolutely ludicrous to have people make a video game based on ious or based on like okay well i guess if this game is popular you get paid guys like wh what world do you live in Th that is not the world we live in and this is exactly what the comment that i screenshotted says software developers video game developers they are paid to create the game in fact in this comment that i was reading sometimes um i can't say like all the time but he was saying that like occasionally or they were saying i don't know the gender they occasionally um there's even a preparation for something like a boycott to ensure that the livelihoods of these people don't suffer based on things that they literally can't control the only thing that they can control is does this game look good is it well made and they will get paid for that so that argument it doesn't it doesn't stand in my opinion but i just i needed to say that because i did think about myself i was like huh i'm, I'm wondering if maybe there's some truth to this it seems like there isn't um and i'm sure i can go look up how this works but i just i mean even without reading that comment by the software developer in my head i'm like that just, that just doesn't make sense that's that's like actors getting paid after the movie comes out like what the fuck okay um something that i and this kind of like starts to we start to get into the crux of this video which is human behavior and, and how to be better humans let's just bring up the fact that lack of understanding for a person's or a group's experience never justifies inciting or encouraging or participating in violence towards that group you can completely not understand what it is to be a woman and hopefully that doesn't impede you from wanting women to have rights and be free i mean and if it does listen that, that 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 is a whole other video that we're not here to talk about okay um but that just needs to be said like your lack of understanding for something and i really wish that our politicians understood this i really do especially here in america your lack of understanding for say why i deserve my reproductive rights doesn't justify you taking them away from me and inciting violence on my person by not allowing me to choose what to do with my body because you have beliefs this goes for everything when the choice is personal when it's about people just being safe to live in the world because they're fucking human and they're not hurting anybody and if you have the opinion that trans people are hurting people you should really research that you should you should really unbiasedly research that because they are some of the people that have been especially trans women are some of the people that are in most danger of being aggressed and harmed so yeah that needs to be said um to those people countering by saying well she's not involved the company that is making this video game is very intelligent they know that harry potter the brand still has some pull but they also know that she is highly controversial and given that a lot of the harry potter fans fandom seemed to be queer and deriving from ideologies that she's infringing upon by telling them they shouldn't have rights <laughs> the company is being very intelligent about wording things well so that people don't understand or rather so that people believe that there's as little involvement from her as possible 
But the fact of the matter is, is that even if she is completely hands off, which I don't fully believe, um, that's my own opinion also. Um, even if she is fully hands off, the fact of the matter is, and this isn't my opinion, this is fact, she gets a royalty check from everything Wizarding World and Harry Potter. She just does. Um, in fact, uh, right now would be a really fun time <laughs> to point out this horrific tweet um, that that she dared to put out. And honestly, I'm sure it's like somewhere in the interwebs. I'm, I'm hoping my editor can put it up here. She may have deleted it um, because she might actually have some shame for the horrific things she's doing, but she probably hasn't deleted it, knowing her, honestly, knowing the things that she's been doing and posting lately. But she um, essentially a what I imagine to be ex fan of the of, of her creations of the Harry Potter world and whatnot, um, essentially asked her like how she could sleep at night with all the harm that she's causing. Um, and how much of her fandom she's just completely alienated with the harm that she's causing. And her response is basically along the lines of, huh, well, looking at my royalty checks essentially completely erases the pain. Listen, I'm over here trying to like, like essentially like, editing and re-editing and re-editing again comments towards people that really just deserve a fuck you go fuck yourself from me but i'm putting a lot of thought and conscious effort into commenting in the most empathetic or in the very least neutral way possible because unlike you joanne I do give a shit about coming off as a person who has a heart and who has a mind that does more than just try to oppress things I don't understand. In fact, it doesn't really do that at all. We got away from that a long time ago. Okay? That internalized shit, it, it is working its way out. You just have to be such, um, you just have to not care to such a degree about people, about empathy, about being a decent human, to tweet some shit like that. She could have said nothing and looked at her royalty checks that help ease the pain she doesn't actually feel, <laughs> clearly. No, she decided to antagonize this this ex fan back for asking a valid question, by the way. But Joanne was triggered, so she decided to be an antagonistic bitch towards this person by replying to a tweet that obviously one rhetorical, and two, it, it just shows how small of a human she is that she felt the need to reply when she is like sitting on all this cash i'm like girl if you really don't give a shit why the fuck are you replying to this girl um and i'm gonna reiterate she will use that money to fund causes and organizations that literally harm trans people so not only is she what appears to be a morally what is it bankrupt i was gonna say corrupt no 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 bankrupt she appears to be a morally bankrupt human to begin with and whatever royalty she gets from anything that has wizarding world attached to it harry potter both she's gonna use any of that all of that not all of it but she's gonna use plenty of those resources to harm literally one of the most oppressed and harmed communities already that exists on our planet today what i just listed to you are all the reasons why i am not going to be supporting this why i don't want to buy this game i'm 
not watching anything around it. I'm even creators that I subscribe and I follow. I'm just skipping those videos because that's how I'm going to choose to act. Now, I'm also not going to sit here and condemn people who want to buy the game. If they ask me to educate them, I will gladly educate them on my perspective, on the things that she's done, the kind of person she seems to be. But I'm not going to sit here and call a, perf a person the trans space. <laughs> there isn't a space in there. I'm, I'm trying to be algorithm friendly. The, the phobic word. I'm not going to go ahead and call somebody that because they don't understand the depths of this. Um, but, and, and that's not okay behavior in general, okay? Now, we're actually getting to the crux of this video, which is, this isn't about buying the game or not. It really, it's not, okay? It's not. Um, before I get to the crux of that, I just wanted to share something because it really, it deeply, very deeply impacted me and maybe it'll deeply impact you too. Or at least you'll learn something you didn't know before. Um, I'm compelled to make this video because one of the creators that I follow, she does incredible work by the way. Her name is Jessie Gender and she does incredible work. Um, her videos are amazing, well thought out, production value is awesome she really gets in it with costumes and things like that like it's awesome and she essentially got pulled into a 72 hour media trash mess because joanne antagonized her over twitter for trying to protect the trans community and educate people on why this game is maybe not the thing to support and she made this whole big video about it. And in the video, there was a really powerful part where uh, another creator named Aaronok, which also awesome creator, so talented, by the way, um, their video essay got recognized by the BFI, which is the British Film Institute, which is incredible. Oh my God. <laughs> so cool by the way that the bfi like looks at youtube video essays it's fucking amazing um but essentially aranak came on and, and just spoke very vulnerably very openly about how over the the years that joanne's crap has picked up she's been cyber bullied like heavily horrifically i'm not saying that any any sort of extent of bullying is right or good or should happen i'm just saying like the kind of bullying that i get online when people are like oh, you sound like you hate men and should work at starbucks it's nothing compared to what trans people deal with okay like absolutely nothing so when i say like Aranok was sharing that they had been severely cyberbullied on multiple occasions for like few months at a time by people with Harry Potter shit in their usernames, in their bios. Um, which I'm not saying all people who like Harry Potter are against trans people. Like I am not. In fact, that's what I'm... Please don't, don't do that. If you're on the side of let's support trans people and not joanne don't just be calling people who don't know the full extent or maybe are being a little bit willfully blind don't call them transphobic if you don't know that they actually are oh oops i said the word let's see what happens let's see if this video gets demonetized like don't be antagonizing people for not understanding just try to help them understand and if they look like someone who's not trying to they're not gonna because of you give up go towards people who will and just put your truth out there as best as you can, right? But back to the story, back to Aranok. They weren't, she wasn't saying that every person who digs Harry Potter is this, but she was saying that there were enough experiences where she was actively harassed, 
bullied, even followed at a grocery store to the point where the grocery store's security guard had to stop the women following her because it was so obvious that they were stalking this girl through the store. And in those occasions, those people were connected to Harry Potter and she knew that because they were the women in the store were wearing Harry Potter shirts um you know the people cyberbullying were they had Harry Potter names and things in their bios or in their usernames and then when Jesse Gender basically says like I know it's hard to believe but most if not all trans people that I know have a story like this now I knew I couldn't support it anymore. I knew I knew that every time I mentioned Harry Potter or something in it that I connected with or liked about it, from that point on for myself, I would have to go, but I don't support what Joanne is doing with the platform that this has given her or the money that this has given her. And I need that to be known. I do not support this as a whole. There's just this aspect that, yeah, I connected to that. So these are all of the things that influenced me to decide I don't want to support Harry Potter anymore as long as she is connected to it, as long as she's looking at her royalty checks and letting us know that that makes her feel better about being an oppressive, harmful, hateful human, I I don't want any part in that. Now if you want to buy this game and you want to support Harry Potter and do those things, that's okay like do you i am not a trans person i'm just an ally um albeit not the most active ally that i could be um but still an ally who just wants to spread the deeper understanding and and wants to show one of my main issues here beyond all of this it's how people are acting towards each other. That just really doesn't sit right with me. It's one thing if you want to go and support this game or just buy it or whatever. Maybe you don't care for Joanne. Maybe you actively dislike the things that she's doing. Maybe you don't even know what she's doing. But you want to go and support this game and you want to go and support Harry Potter and stuff. Okay, cool, fine, whatever. Do your thing. Really, do your thing. Okay? There, there's definitely bigger fish to fry. In fact, there are men doing significantly the same, if not a little bit more amount of harm than she is, but we continuously focus on her. That's not to say she shouldn't be focused on. I'm just saying, like, this is not about the choice you make, per se. This is about how you go about making that choice. The amount of comments that I've seen from people on videos that are honestly just trying to educate people about why maybe supporting the game isn't the best idea, why maybe supporting her isn't the best idea, just th these are videos that are just laying it down for people to see, like they're just laying out what's going down for people to see. And you literally have people like in the comments being like, oh, I'm just going to buy two ultimate versions. Then suck it, morons. Suck it, little nah, nah, nah. suck it, this whatever. Buy the fucking game and shut up. How hard is that? But the, the fact that you have to antagonize people that are not trying to antagonize you. The video I'm talking about, the videos I'm talking about are not creators being like, you're, you're against trans people. You're a terrible person. You're me, me, me. None of that. None of that whatsoever. It's literally just people like laying out facts and information. And you have people showing how low their distress tolerance is and how incredibly emotionally unintelligent and emotionally 
devolved they are. I shouldn't say devolved because that implies that there was some sort of evolution. No, development just never happened in that area of their empathy, hearts, minds, whatever. That de Physical development for humans, by the way, does not equal emotional and mental development. And it shows in these comments that these people are severely emotionally, empathetically underdeveloped. Because to literally just have information put in front of your face and your immediate reaction is, no, oh, fuck you, I'm gonna buy it twice now. Your inner brat is showing. Be an adult, buy whatever fucking game you wanna buy, and don't say shit. Now, obviously, I not like I, I can't control people. Why am I making this video if most of those people are probably people that would be like, oh, fuck you, you little blah, blah, blah. Don't tell me what to do, blah, blah, blah. Again, a video that's like literally just giving you information and I'm certain I'm gonna have someone being like, I don't even know because I don't have the brain for insults like that. There's a, there are waste of space in my brain. Because I am not trying to fucking antagonize people here. And I don't understand why if you want to support this game, if you want not even support it, if you just want to fucking buy it and try it out. I have a very difficult time because I've worked very hard to be a developed human when it comes to my empathy and emotional aspects. And I continue to work hard every single day to do that. I find it very difficult to understand why you can't just fucking buy the game and leave people alone. If you actually did the research, you would see how this community is already one of the most marginalized, one of the most harmed, one of the most oppressed communities out there. And for you to antagonize them further, encourage antagonization with your own antagonizing of them what was that point again lack of understanding for one's or a group's experience doesn't justify inciting encouraging or participating in violence towards them those comments were violent they were rude antagonistic horrible they were joanne going <laughs> my money makes me feel better you loser Regardless of your choice, just please refrain from aggressing trans people while you're doing it. And allies and trans people, please just seek to educate. I under, like, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not trans. I can't say I understand. Not fully, not even close. I can empathize and sympathize with the anger that you feel, with the hopelessness, and probably like the loneliness of like, how can nobody fucking see that we're not trying to hurt people here. In fact, we're the ones hurting. And while that rage has its place and I really, I really want it to have its place and I want society to understand that just because people get angry about shit it doesn't mean their points are not valid in fact they're angry about it because their points are fucking valid please don't let that lead you to actions that undermine what you're trying to say like saying that someone is you know phobic towards trans people simply because they said they're gonna buy the game not like one of those people that are being shitty and horrible and antagonizing but just going like oh like maybe someone who's ignorant maybe someone who you don't know if someone is the phobic word unless you have those receipts we know joanne is the receipts are riddled all over the internet People have written articles about it. You can't know that. 
about someone in a comment section. Unless they show their true colors, which honestly, a lot of those comments definitely show some not favorable colors. I'm not going to tell trans people what to do. I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I'm not going to tell trans people what to do. I'm not. No. But allies, I suggest for the allies. Actually, no. Trans people get angry. Please. <laughs> you should be angry. I'm angry for you. Allies, let's not. Let's not antagonize other people because it doesn't help us and it doesn't help the community we're trying to help so lead by example educate when applicable try to be kind when you do so and if there are people that are just unwilling to be educated walk the fuck away they are not worth the time i promise you they're not or the energy and decent people out there who have a shred of emotional intelligence and empathy please do your best to not get triggered when people are just trying to present information to you i was a huge lover and supporter of the harry potter books and series and it was hard to find out Essentially, that it's not as great as I once thought it was, but also that the influence and power from that is getting siphoned towards really harmful things. Like, that wasn't an easy thing to find out. So I understand, like, being triggered or wanting to be triggered over information like that. But please, like, feel your feelings, but also remember that you are not even, you're not the harmed party here. Unless you're trans, then you are. But just do your best to like, you know, even if you don't want to listen, cool. Just don't antagonize. The way to be a good human here, if you are going to buy this game and support Wizarding World shit, is just don't antagonize trans people over it. Don't antagonize anybody over it. Spend your money where you're going to spend your money and mind your, mind your fucking business. That's it. <laughs> That's all I got as far as that goes. I really just needed to talk about that because much like the Great Gaylor War, I... You can do things other people don't agree with and not be a shitty human about it. The fact that it seems that that is nearly impossible for some people is what prompted me to make this video. And it continues to blow my mind. Um, for this reading, we're actually going to pull from an oracle deck. If you're new here, I do a little card reading at the end of every video, except for the Great Gaylor War because it was almost two hours. <laughs> um, but today I'm going to pull from the oracle Whispers of Love because this is a hard topic and I think we just need some love in our lives. So what about love are we to focus on right now? Um, for those of you that don't really know how card readings work, what I do here is just a collective reading. So whether you've, um, regardless of what point in time you're coming to in this video, there might be a message for you here in this card. Just kind of type, tap into the vibe of whoever's watching. And if that sounds weird and crazy and woo-woo to you, that's okay. I'm not here to explain it to you. Okay. Wow. Wow. So what am I talking about here? This whole video, I'm talking about just being empathetic. If you're going to do the thing that trans people are asking you not to do, do it with grace. Do it with kindness. Spend your money and shut up about it. <laughs> essentially <laughs> um but what is that like what what is it to to have emotional intelligence it's to have an open and communicating heart and this card card 22 is the heart of the matter 
There is more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. Oh my god. Oh my god. What did I say? This video is not about the fucking boycott. It's about how people are acting within the boycott situation, right? There is more than what meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about, okay? Fuck it. The message isn't even for us today. The message is literally like, just be good humans. Please. Please. If you don't know how to not be reactive and shitty when you get triggered, go to therapy. If you can't afford therapy, look up ways to work through your triggers on your own. So many amazing videos on YouTube now on like mental health and psychology and trauma work and therapeutic work, just being a better human work. Please do that. That's how we make a better world. That's how we create a better earth. I know the people that are out here being assholes, commenting stupid shit because they don't have better things to do with their time or they have zero distress tolerance or they were taught that the way to deal with things that they don't understand is insult and antagonize. I know that they think that being good and kind humans and having empathy is like a waste of fucking time and where the fuck does that get anyone? But I know the real ones out there know that that is so not the case. That being kind, that having an open heart, that being empathetic, working on yourself, that, that shit is the real, real act of rebellion in this fucked up society because guess what? More and more people do that and this society becomes less and less fucked up. Thank you so much for listening uh, or watching if that's what you're doing. If you are on the podcast, I love you. Really appreciate you. Um, all of this content goes up like a day early, by the way, in the podcast. So if you want to follow that, all YouTube videos go there to the listening platforms, um, except for the ones that require you to watch something. So that would be reactions when, when it comes to my channel. Um, and please... Uh, Please uh, let me know if you've got any thoughts about anything that I said below. Uh, please do so kindly in good human fashion. Um, and if you can't, just don't say anything. This might be good practice. Um, I'm obviously not trying to antagonize anybody here, except maybe Joanne. <laughs> but I don't know if you can call that antagonizing when I'm literally just throwing her own actions and words back at her her own actions and in words that are antagonistic back at her so i guess she's antagonizing herself probably um <laughs> but really like i'm not i'm not trying to antagonize anybody i'm not trying to tell y'all what to do i really just hate seeing shitty human behavior out there when i know we have the capability to do so much fucking better um and yeah i'm really incredibly grateful that you've made it to the end of this video please like this video please subscribe to the channel please click the bell because i do post regularly but i don't post on a schedule uh, my social medias will be up here for you to follow i would love to see you over there i post slightly different content over there actually it's it's more like on the fly um uh i guess like i i give a lot of like personal thoughts about being good humans and I don't know, living in a more aware and empathetic manner. Um, it's a fun time over there, so check it out. Um, and if you haven't checked out any of my other videos, uh, please do so. We'll recommend one at the end here. Um, and please, stay mystical, stay grounded. I'm really excited to have you here on Embodying a Mystical Mac. And I will catch you next time. I have no quirky ending this time. I'm just really glad that I filmed this because now I don't have to think about filming it and get continuous anxiety from it anymore. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, click the bell, follow me on the socials, and I'll catch you soon.